There is one tool so powerful within Lightroom, and when you learn to utilize its power, it will completely transform your images. Sheesh, that was brutal. It sounded like a freaking Marvel trailer. Today, I'm gonna to take one photo and show you how to create three different looks from that image. And the main tool we're gonna to be focusing on today is the color grading tab within Lightroom. I believe that using this tool allows you to create cinematic looks faster and with more precision. Before we get into it, if you got value from this video, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment, letting me know that you like this content, and I'll be sure to make more videos just like this in the future. All right, with that out of the way, let's get to it. Okay, so now that we're in Lightroom, we're gonna take this image that is now our clean version. And this is what it looks like here. We're gonna create this look. It's kind of like a scene that you'd see from the Joker with some warm highlights and a bit of like green tones in the shadows. In our second image, we're gonna be grading this photo kind of like a golden hour, kind of deserty scene. And our third image is gonna be kind of this monochromatic night scene. Okay, so we're gonna start right from this image. And so just so you know, I did the basic adjustments as well as I did a little bit within the tone curve, just creating a bit of an S curve, nothing to do with the colors at all. And then I did some color adjustment basically just to make it look cleaner, but I haven't done anything within the color grading tab, which is the tab in which we're gonna focus on today. So we're gonna start with the highlights. And I'm not gonna make this video too technical because there's many videos out there that talk about all the nitty gritty technical but I just want to show you the practical use cases so that you can implement these into your work and see how they practically affect your images because that's personally how I learn and I think many others learn like that as well. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so to create our first look, what we're gonna do is we're gonna push some warm highlights first. So we're gonna go to about hue 44. I'm just going to push up the highlights a bit just till we start to see some warmth within the trees as well as within the sky in behind our trees there. So we're just gonna keep pushing a wee bit. Okay, I really like that. I like to go generally to create a bit of warmth in my environment between like a yellow and an orange. I don't wanna get it too red or too green. So I like to pick kind of like that middle spot at usually at like hue 44 or 45. So I'm pretty happy with that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into our shadows here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go a mixture between the teal and the deep blue here. So I'm just going to go at hue 207. And I'm just gonna push up that hue a little bit. And as you can see here, within the shadow of the dust that's being kicked up around our subject, even a little bit within our subject, I'm just gonna turn this off and turn it on. So you can see what it's doing already, but I want it to be more of like a green look. So I'm actually just gonna push the hue up towards the green. And as I do that, we're really starting to see our look there. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this eyedropper tool off and on, off and on. Okay, so now as you push in the opposite tone within the shadows, the highlights are being dimmed down a little bit. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go back into my highlights. It's all about a push and pull game here. So I'm just gonna boost the highlights up even more. And then I'm gonna go into the midtones. And what I'm gonna be looking at for the midtones is things like the rider and as well some of the trees here in front of the sky. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push the same tone at hue 44 as we did within the highlights. Just push it up just a wee bit. And as you're seeing within some of the smoke here, it is pushing in a little bit of that tone. So we need to be very gentle with that push. So I'm gonna turn the eye off and on. So it's extremely subtle. I'm just looking at the dust here and here and here and turn that off on. Personally, I want the dust to be a little bit more of like a clean look. So I'm actually going to remove the color that's being pushed in within the midtones. And I'm going to go back to my shadows, push a little bit more tonality, push it a little bit more up towards the green and the hue. There we go. I really want to push and accentuate that green and orangey red look because those colors are complementary to each other and they push a really nice cinematic look. So as for where this look stands, I'm pretty happy with that. We're gonna go before, and we're gonna go after. Before and after. So we're looking at the highlights, we're looking at some of these shadows here. We're just pushing in a very subtle look, but I think it adds a cinematic feel to it. Okay, so now we're gonna create our second look. So I'm just gonna reset everything here. Just go back. Okay, so now we have our clean look once again. Now our goal is to create a look like this. So let's go into our clean version here. We're gonna to go to the color grading. We're gonna go up to the highlights. And this is where we're gonna really push a lot of our look is within the highlights. So we're gonna to go to about hue 40. And I'm just really going to push this. 
So as I push this up to 100%, you're seeing that it is affecting a lot, but not as much as I would like. I'm noticing that the highlights are blown out more than what I would like. So how we can adjust the highlights very simply is basically just going to the luminance here below our saturation and hue. And I'm just gonna pull that back and look at the sky here as I do that. So I'm just gonna pull, pull, pull. And it starts to flatten those highlights, which I personally like a lot. So I'm gonna go into the midtones. I'm gonna push about the same hue. I'm gonna go about hue 40. So I'm gonna push that up in the saturation here. I'm actually gonna push a little bit more towards like an orangey look, more so red. And I'm going to pull down the luminance ever so slightly as well because I'm noticing that the smoke was a little bit too bright. So that's about minus 18. And then we are going to push the shadows as well. So we're going to go to about hue 29. I'm just gonna push in those shadows here. And we're not gonna go as aggressive as we did with the highlights and midtones. So I'm just going to boost up the luminance ever so slightly, just because I'm starting to lose a little bit more information here. And so personally, I really like this look so far. I'm just going to probably move the hue on the highlights a little bit more toward like the orangey red. Probably to, I don't know, I think maybe even just like hue 39. I'm pretty happy with that. And look at where this stands so far. So I'm just gonna go full screen here. This is our before and this is our after. Look at how much this is doing. I just. It's hard to believe that even just with our color grading tab, how much you can do. And I mean, if you wanna push more of this overall image, you can go to the global adjustment tool here. I'm gonna go up to the hue about, probably I'm gonna go to about hue 35. I'm just gonna boost up a little bit more really pull that look off here. So I'm noticing that the bike is being a little bit more accentuated more than what I would like. I think it's a little bit too bright, so I'm gonna go into my colors, just pull down the luminance ever so slightly on that red, pull down the sat a wee bit, and then pull down the luminance on the orange ever so slightly, and the sat down. Now it starts to flow more into our scene here. Okay, so now, as I said with this look, we're not getting true blacks. And personally, in my opinion, I think that the mark of true blacks creates more of a cinematic look. And you see Hollywood do that within their images. It was something that I learned when I had taken a color grading course, and I think it's really important. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the tone curve and we're gonna take this point and we're going to raise that up towards the blue. And now we leveled out our blacks. So just keep looking at the pants here. I'm just gonna reset this point. and look at just how much that does shift here. And so now I would say that our blacks are more neutralized here, the deep dark blacks. Okay, so as for an overall image in terms of color grading, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go before, let's go after. We really pulled off that kind of deserty scene, the deserty vibe. And it's all because we pushed the highlights, mid-tone shadows, more towards that color that we wanted. And that's kind of how you create this monochromatic look. Okay, so now to our final image here. So we're gonna create this night scene here. Okay, so I'm gonna set my color grading tab here, go back to zero on all of them. Okay, so from here, we are gonna actually push the opposite as we did with our last image and create the exact same look, but just towards the blue. So I'm gonna push my hue towards 215. I'm gonna really start to push that look into the highlights. This is gonna be really accentuated. And right from here, as I'm noticing, there is a little bit of banding around these trees. And I think a lot of it is just because the highlights are a little bit brighter than what I would want them to be. So I'm just gonna pull the luminance down within the highlights. Okay, that is helping a little bit. Let's go to our midtones. Let's push the same kind of color. I'm gonna to go to about hue 208. I'm gonna push those in there. And okay, I'm gonna pull down the luminance on those because if we're creating a night scene, we have to really create and shape the light because this image really isn't lit as a night scene, so we need to really push in that look. And then if we go to the shadows, we're gonna go over to about 205 for the hue, and let's really start to push that in here. And I'm just going to lower the luminance on those shadows here. I'm going to 
back off the mid-tones ever so slightly, push them more up towards like the teal at about 205 as well. So my shadows and my mid-tones are both sitting at the same hue and then my highlights, I am pushing a little bit more towards like a bluey purple. So one thing that I'm noticing that needs to be corrected is these highlights because it's really not pulling the tone that I want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the tone curve, I'm gonna go to the highlights and I am going to flatten those highlights and flatten the mid-tones ever so slightly as well. Flatten those highlights out. Pull the head on the tone curve down as well. I'm gonna pull up the highlights just a wee bit so that I keep contrast. Pull down the mid-tones, drop those shadows. And it's okay if we're losing, I think a little bit of the shadows within our subject, because honestly, if it were a night scene, you wouldn't be retaining a lot of those shadows. So I think that's okay. I'm gonna go actually to my overall exposure, pull that down. Then what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to lower the contrast a wee bit, bring up some of those shadows, bring up the blacks ever so slightly, just so that we're not completely losing our subject here. So I'm noticing a couple things like we're losing the coloration on the dirt bike here. So we're gonna go into our color, we're gonna push this more towards that red tone. We're gonna to push the red more towards a red tone. We're gonna to raise up the luminance ever so slightly on the orange and the red. And then we're going to actually lower the yellows because the yellows are what is affecting the trees here in the foliage. So we're gonna lower those and actually just dip down the luminance on those because we don't want those to draw our attention. Now, personally, I think I would like to go a little bit more towards like a purpley look within the highlight hue. So we're going to push that a little bit down to about hue, I'm happy with that. So 223, and this is really starting to push a nice night scene. So we still have our hue for the mid-tones and the shadows at 205, which is pushing a more teal look but our highlights is pushing more of a blue. So let's turn those off and on. Yeah, so like that is really pushing our look. So we're gonna go to the shadows, turn that off and on. And just look at what each of these is doing. It's, it's incredible what that's doing. So off and on. When combined properly, they can actually create some pretty amazing looks. So we're just gonna turn this whole color grading off and on. That's amazing. Let's go full screen here. So this is a before, and this is an after. But I think to pull this night scene off a little bit better, we're gonna actually go into our masking tool. We're gonna go to linear gradient, zoom out a bit. This is gonna be very basic, very simple, very quick. But I think this would just really pull off our scene. We're gonna pull down the exposure ever so slightly, pull down the highlights, the whites, and turn it out. Pull it down. We're gonna do another one from the bottom, just so we get rid of a bit of this foliage here. We're gonna pull down the exposure on that. Feather it out a wee bit more. Boom, there we go. So I mean, overall, I think this actually helps to kind of dial in that night scene a little bit more. And I mean, if you wanted to, you could create a vignette, you could do many things with this image to pull it off more. But as for color grading, this is a before and an after. I think we got the look that we're going for. So I know that these are extreme looks and most of the times you're not gonna be pushing looks like this within your photography. But I think by showing you extreme examples and seeing what's possible within photography, you can really learn to create any look that you wanna go for. It's all about learning and knowing the tools that you have at your fingertips. If you like this video, I think you'll also like this one where I talk about how to create cinematic shots within your photography. I'll see you over in that video. All right, peace.